Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake, and I am on my way back from the dump. Not the wood dump, the garbage dump. Had to take out our household trash. I do so about once every month when I have a free Saturday that I'm uh, doing a job that fits that the dump's uh, very finite schedule. Um, anyway, I got my go-go juice right here, and we are headed back to the house. We are going to be loading up the tractor with a couple attachments onto the International uh, and Sure Track dump trailer, and we are going to be heading back to the same client that I did all of that tiller work at a couple months back. The client's so nice, they hired me twice. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of moving a material and ripping out of some, I think they're like hedges or something like that. So um, I'm gonna head back to the house, load everything up, and we will check back in once we are on our way. Ah, that's good stuff. Alrighty guys, we are all loaded up. As you can see, got the grapple. Bucket is in the back of the dumpster can. Got the big tool rack to hold all my hand tools and chains and stuff. A um, couple saws. We got, um, you know, pretty much everything that we're gonna need here. Uh, this, is, this is, this setup has been working out pretty well for me. Um, the one thing I wish I had was a slightly longer dump trailer. This is a 14 foot dump trailer. If I had like an 18 foot dump trailer or just like a uh, 20 foot or 22 foot like flatbed equipment trailer for jobs like this to haul just the tractor, um, it would be fantastic. Cause like on this job, for example, I'm not even using the dump trailer as a dump trailer. I'm just simply using it to move the tractor. Um, so an equipment trailer would be really nice. Um, it would be a lot easier to strap this puppy down. Cause right now, as you can see, it's pretty tight walking in on the sides here um, to get these straps and everything cinched down. But you know what? We'll make do with what we got. Um, I, I have been looking for a trailer. Just haven't, you know, prices of everything right now are just so astronomical. Um, I'll make do with what I got. So we'll check in when I get to the job. Well, here we are at the gas pumps waiting to get diesel. And of course, all these gas cars are at the only diesel pumps. And there's all of these open pumps, and here I am with the trailer, blocking in a bunch of people over here, because these people think that they need to go to the diesel pump. Okay guys, we are here back at the job, or the property where I did all that tiller work. As you can see, I got the tractor unloaded, dumpster can down. Um, I will show you back there, but behind the fence, you might be able to see, there is a lot of nice grass back there where we tore it all up. But today's job is to rip out these boxwoods. We got a whole hedge line here of boxwoods. And although they're in pretty good shape health-wise, um, they're just getting a little bit too large. And the homeowner wants to kind of start, start fresh. So we're going to be ripping these out. We will see how the uh, Wicked Grapple does with that. And then we also have some really big boxwoods over here. I think there's like two or three of them. So we'll probably have to cut those down and then try and rip out the stump with the grapple or a strap. Um, so that is the job at hand for right now. Behind the fence over there, there's a big pile of wood chips, which I'm also gonna be spreading um, along this new fence here to keep uh, the landscapers, weed whackers and everything away from uh, gumming up the fence with uh, marks from the weed whacker. So, I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to get going here.
no grip? No grip. Okay. If this would tear that up in a second. <laughs> They call it a wicked grapple for a reason. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you saw, um, there, the wicked grapple just did a great job there. Uh, that was like all of maybe 15 minutes. Um, just ripped them right out of the ground. We were able to shake most of the dirt back into these planting beds. Doesn't even look like they were ever here. Um, loaded it right up in the can here. Um, so that was awesome. I think the next culprits we'll move on to are these big fellers over here. Now, whether or not the tractor is going to be able to rip these out the same way it just did to those, um, we will see. But I got to move the truck here and uh, we'll get going. I'm just going to drive in there and try to get as deep as you can and grab it. Yeah, so on those, it seemed like if I go in and then kind of angle it back, the bottom teeth can kind of like get under it, grab some roots, and I come down on the top, is able to rip it out. Just drive into it. <laughs>
Okay guys, we are moving right along. We're gonna take out this from that bush over. We're gonna leave that bush on the end, but take out all these. And then same thing over here. I just made some more room in the dumpster can. Hopefully we can fit it all. So as per usual, the Wicked Grapple did an amazing job here. Um, homeowner, super happy, ripped out both sides. Um, they're planning on doing some replanting and stuff eventually. This front bed just looks so much nicer. You don't really realize it until, you know, now that they're gone, you realize how, how big those things were, but uh, you know, really opens it up. And we even talked about doing some tree work probably in the fall to raise up um, the Jap maple and get a little bit more sight of the house from the end of the driveway. So now I just threw on the bucket to the tractor. We're gonna head behind the fence. I'll show you uh, what the tilling job looked like now that he's planted grass and stuff and we're gonna spread some chips. Okay guys, so just quickly, if you remember, this is where I did that tiller job all along here in this fence line, all around the back fence line. And uh, the goal was to plant grass and I think we achieved that. Looks pretty good. Um, we also, if you remember, pulled out a bunch of brush and dead trees and stuff from way back there, which they now have installed a big berm with some uh, screening trees. And we even did a garden over on the other side of the pool. So everything is looking really good back here. Um, I will put a link to that video up above, but here's the pile of chips that we're gonna be moving. And we're basically just gonna be putting like one bucket full in front of each section of fence. That way, uh, when the landscapers come to weed whack, they're not going directly up against the fence and uh, marring it up. So, here we go. Okay, so we are pretty much done here. As you can see, this is where all those boxwoods were. We spread some wood chips out here. We spread wood chips out here on both sides. We got wood chips all along this front bed where we started out the day. Looks really good much cleaner. I brought some brush out that he had in the back here. And then we did the fence line with wood chips, just about a foot out to keep the weed whackers away from the fence. Went all the way down here to that gate. So you can see, went on the other side. 
and uh, finally did this backside. They're still working on getting them spread, but it looks really good. And the uh, remaining pile that was here, I spread it out so it's flat and not too much of an eyesore for the neighbors. And uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the job. Here's one last look at, uh, you know, basically all of this. You can see the line where the, the grass is tall versus short. All of this, I'll, I'll try and find a, a picture, a screenshot of what it looked like when I was done tilling it up from that video. Again, uh, go back and check out that video. Um, and this is like night and day. And we went all the way around here, basically down to the end of the fence line over there by that big tree. Um, and then we did in the back as well over uh, by that berm that you can see over there. So all in all, the customer is very happy. Um, I'm happy that he's happy. We're gonna be probably coming back in the fall to do some more tree work and uh, it's pretty much gonna wrap it up. So I gotta get cleaned up here, loaded up, and we're going to head back home. Well, all right, guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. Got everything loaded up. Full dumpster can of all those bushes with the bucket up on top there. Um, luckily, we don't have too far to go. So uh, all in all, it was a good job. Customer's happy, and uh, that's why I do this stuff. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Only like 70% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed, or actually probably even less than that. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.